Remember, from the beginning of the discussion, I told you, current was the flow. I said, hey, trust me, it's the flow of charges per second in the circuit. And this is the connection point that allows you to understand that. Because I'm telling you that an amp here, one amp that you're seeing on the meter is equal to what we call one coulomb per second. And then I'm telling you a tiny, tiny, tiny little amount of coulombs is just one electron is a tiny fraction of a coulomb. And when you put those two pieces of information together and the units cancel out, what you're saying is that one amp, which is a coulomb per second, is equal to this many electrons flowing by per second. And it's an enormous amount of electrons flowing by every second. So when I connect this thing over here, right, like I'll just do right now, and it's telling me 0 0.470 amps are flowing out of this thing, what it is, because since it's pretty close to about a half, it's about a half of this number. So three point something times 10 to the 18 electrons every single second flowing through this wire. If you slice the cross section of this wire, cross section is like a circle, right? That's how many electrons flowing past per second on average there are. That is the definition of, of what an ampere actually is. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.